I feel so bad for her. The fact that Yulia gets a bad rep for the people of Mondstadt, and the fact that she may appear as a failure to her, to her clan and the family, that is tough. And that just shows why Yulia can be so cool sometimes to many other people, including mine. But you have no, but yet you, you really don't have a choice but to sympathize for her, honestly. And in my eyes, when they when I see that, I think the only family that Yulia has left is really the nice Mavonius, Amber being pro possibly a very close sister to her, close sister-like figure to her almost. There's a reason why they're so that there's a reason why they're close friends. And Sarah, being open-minded, understands the struggle that Yula's going through. I think Yula just needs a lot of like, just needs friends. I think she just needs to, people to actually to support her, more people to support her her decisions, and less discriminatory, discriminatory close-minded people like the people that we talked to Monster. She doesn't deserve all this hate. I think she's just being very very discriminated against, and I feel really bad for her. Anyways, let's move on and talk to Schubert again. The tent seems to be pretty tattered, but there's a really fancy chair. Could this be another aristocratic custom? Ah, it's you again. I thought I had rid myself of you two. A few humble words, huh? Yes, that sounds appropriate enough. Very well. I'm certainly not one to be narrow-minded. I'll overlook your previous misconduct for now and listen to what you have to say. Wow, this guy thinks so highly of himself. Ah, a kindred spirit, I see. Yes, we must resist the blundering knights of Favonius. You are true and principled. Impressive. My intentions were to test your humility. It appears you have become well-versed in our etiquette. Oh, so he was testing us. Sheesh, what an ordeal! Your conduct is satisfactory. I must say, such progress in such a short time is practically unfathomable. If I may ask, from whence did you learn such a civilized manner of speech? Ah, good. Very good. You are bright, and compared with the common folk of Mondstadt, you certainly have potential. If you were of aristocratic blood, your prospects would be promising indeed. By the way, we brought a gift! Ahem. Paimon means we would like to present you with a small token of our goodwill. Huh? <gasps> Could this be? Gebratness Fleisch meets Sauerkraut? It's evident that your sentiment is genuine. As a young person nowadays, only with no small effort could you achieve such a dish. It's been so long since I dug into a big, tasty... I, I beg your pardon. What I mean to say is, since it's nearly mealtime, I shall partake. Ah, yes, this aroma, just as I remember it, and this exquisite sour flavor. Mmm, a delicacy that only us noblemen and women could appreciate. Now even Paimon's starting to wonder what it tastes like. I acknowledge your genuine goodwill. Such sincerity must certainly imply that you come bearing a request. Wait, so you've come to know of this, too? It was meant to be a family secret. Hmm. Well, considering your meticulous etiquette, you must be a talent of unusual fortitude. I'm willing to place my full trust in you. Please, come with me. We happen to be in need of competent fellows like yourself. To see some... friends from a distant land. They have offered their assistance in restoring the Lawrence clan to its former glory. So he trusts us solely based on your etiquette? Well then, let's get going, shall we? 
You'll understand everything in due course. Do you think his friends are the Fatui? Things will get sticky if the Fatui happen to recognize you. What should we do? Well, we just fight then, don't we? And oh, we also get hit by this boy that just got the is back. Hmm. Dear friends from distant lands, gee, I wonder if that can be for two weeks. Anyway. Also, he tell me he sounds like a, like a, whole, a different current. Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to be right back. I'll see you guys then. I'm sorry about that. I am right back, and I'm going to go to this enemy line because I don't want to get hit. Oh boy, level 80 recommended. 80. I'm sorry if I scream and because my mic is peaked, but 80. Really? Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. Also, I'm not using Eula in this party. Huh? Why have you put on a mask all of a sudden? Hmm. Even if they are powerful, our status is much higher than theirs in the land of Mondstadt. And therefore, we shouldn't allow them to admire our true faces so easily. I see. <laughs> Good thinking. Paimon thought for sure they'd recognize us. Let's proceed, shall we? I'll introduce you as my guest. Aether. As you'll see in a moment, there are many already helping us. I heard that this area had already been purged once by the Knights of Favonius, but it's the only place around Mondstadt that is well concealed and spacious enough. Although it has fallen into disrepair and does not suit the tastes of the nobility, we simply have to make due for now. Uh, sorry, um, can we walk any faster? Of course not. An aristocrat always moves with grace in his steps. Moving hurriedly is unacceptable. Aether, that mask does not help you with your disguise. They know what your name is. You don't have to hide your identity. Okay, I'll shut up. But honestly, just because you wear a mask doesn't mean you can hide your identity. Unless it's a really well done mask, but this just covering your eyes. It can easily tell by your whole body and your face, man. There isn't a twin version like Aether. Well, there is a twin, but that's a girl, and she's nowhere near a close As friend of Monster. It's the Fatui! As expected. Uh, because we always see them around the city. Um, they must be very powerful. <laughs> huh. Nothing more than foreign ruffians with power and the ability to flaunt it. But they are favorable business partners. Hmm. Interesting. Daler and Boris. But the Fatui. Hold it right there! Who's this? If you really must know, they're my guests. If you happen to offend them in even the slightest, then you will be held accountable by the Lawrence clan. But this matter is of utmost secrecy. We must exercise caution. You dare question the ways of a nobleman? I don't have time for this. Make way. No need to sound all high and mighty like that. <sighs> Fine. You may proceed. Good thing you're with us. They don't dare to question you. <laughs> of course. That is the benefit of prestige. In past times, it would be a dire offense to speak to a nobleman in such a manner. We could determine a person's fate with the blink of an eye. <laughs> and such glory will return to me again before long. Really? Huh. Where have I seen this person before? And who, may I ask, is this? We mustn't bring just anyone in here. This is our new ally that I've recently met. They are completely trustworthy. You have the word of the Lawrence clan. 
Our plans are strictly confidential. It's not wise to bring in an outsider at this time. Furthermore, there's been word that an outlander who joined the Knights of Favonius has been very active in Mondstadt recently. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, my guest is well versed in the etiquette of the nobility. I must treat them with the proper mutual respect. The Knights of Favonius pay no regard to such details. They could never understand the intricacies of our etiquette. And what about this thing? Uh, you mean timing? Enough! You dare question my word? Need I remind you who it is who has made your activity in Mondstadt possible? Without the support of the Lawrence clan, you would have all been driven out by the Knights of Favonius like dogs. You must immediately offer your sincerest apologies to my friend. You've offended their honor. Fine. I'll take your word and make no further inquiries. Now, to the matter at hand. Did you bring the diagram of Mondstadt's defenses as promised? Oh, so that's what's going on here. Yes, of course. Here it is. Let me see. Ha. Huh. Why is it so poorly drawn? Everything's so squiggly and crooked. A and what is this shape supposed to be? Excuse me? I'll have you know that I went to great lengths to carefully draw this map by hand myself. That shape is the symbol of the Knights of Favonius. Ha. Huh, I see. Crude, but I can make do. Are you able to verify that this is all reliable information? Of course, you needn't worry about that. Don't forget what we agreed upon. The flag of the Lawrence clan will fly above the Knights of Favonius headquarters. The rights to that building, as well as the whole of Mondstadt, belong to the Lawrence clan. Yes, yes, we will both profit from this agreement. There's no use haggling over the details. We will make good use of the intel you provided. Also, be certain not to divulge our identity. There would be... diplomatic consequences, you know. Don't worry, this matter is only between you and I. And my new friend here. No one else will know of it. Once this is over, I shall stand atop the Favonius headquarters and rebuke their pathetic rule over Mondstadt. Then, the city and all its people will once again be under the rightful and unwavering rule of the Lawrence clan. <laughs> Perfect. Just as it once was, and just as it should be. <sighs> May I remind you once again that we mustn't act rashly. That is all. For now. Huh? What are you doing? That's right! It's the Honorary Knight and their trusty companion, Paimon! We're here to crush your evil schemes into dust! Dust! So this was all just a ploy to deceive me! It's your own fault! Who would put so much trust in someone based purely on their manners? After so much planning, this is how it ends? Huh? We'll see about that! Just as I expected. I knew I should have never trusted these foolish aristocrats. No matter. We already have the intel we need. Get them! They're running off in different directions! Paimon remembers that this place is a dead end. Why the... Why now? Alright, level 8 for 3 soldiers. We have the electric hammer and the one gun computer. This is not this is not that much damage to me, are they? No restrictions, only battle. Let's go. Have the Schubert. Is that Eula? Hello, Eula. What are you doing here? Don't touch me! Get out of my way! I'll leave on my own! It seems we finally caught up with you. This place is crawling with Fatui. Oh, it's you. It seems your investigation went well. 
Aha! I see now. So you're the one that taught them our etiquette. And I thought you despised such pleasantries. Furthermore, there is a rule in our family. Such traditions are never to be taught to outsiders. Ah, yes. Rings a bell. So what? I had no reason not to teach them. You have brought shame to our family and ruined my plans. It's all for naught now. I know that you poured great efforts into these plans, Uncle. But you were well aware that it was not the right thing to do. As a Knight of Favonius, I could not overlook your actions. Knight of Favonius? Let's get one thing straight. I am your uncle, and you are a member of the Lawrence clan. You should strive to restore your family's glory. You still have a chance. Defeat every Knight of Favonius here, and leave with me. Then I shall plea with the family to spare you, and give you a new beginning. So just to be clear, you want a Knight of Favonius to attack the Knights of Favonius? I shall say this one last time. You are not a Knight of Favonius. You are a descendant of the Lawrence clan. The blood of the Lawrence clan flows in your veins. You must comply with the will of the family. Since when have I ever complied with the will of the family? Why, you... you unruly maid! If anyone should be angry, it should be me. As a member of the Lawrence clan, you knowingly plotted against the city of Mondstadt and threatened its safety. Had you ever stopped to consider the trouble it would bring to so many people? Had you considered how many enemies you would make trying to keep the plans under wraps? Y you dare lecture me! That's right. In the name of the family that you so dearly revere, Uncle Schubert. I've never experienced the age of glory you always speak of. And I've never understood our family's incessant pursuit of it. But I am capable of discerning right from wrong. And I deeply understand what freedom means to the people of Mondstadt. The Lawrence clan should never and will never become what you've dreamed it to be. Ugh. Oh, the disgrace of it all! How could such a rebellious monster emerge from our own family? <laughs> Things are starting to get pretty hysterical here. Politeness and elegance seem to have gone out the window. That's enough fuss for today. You two, take him away. The Honorary Knight and I have other matters to attend to. <sighs> Given that you've already taken action, I assume you've come across some conclusive evidence? Paimon took a peek at their diagram. Your uncle had mapped out all of the Knight's patrol routes and marked out key information about Mondstadt. <sighs> and there was me thinking that he was just another elder of the family. And a lazy one at that. I never suspected he could stoop this low. So stubborn. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. Let's discuss this later. Our first priority is recovering that diagram. Here we go. I was just gonna say, we can now play as Eula temporarily. But first we have a chest I want to open. Eula! It's a cryo L cryo vision claymore user, and she's a damn good one at that. No find these flame attacks, just but wait just for her cryo E, I believe. Or you can just wait for timing as well. More speed. Shudder! True to her nature, she is a cryo vision wielder. Wielder, but she does not. Ex she does not specifically utilize her prowl vision to the fullest. Rather, she takes advantage of her raw DPS. Her signature weapon, the Song of Broken Pines, is ridiculously good in my opinion. This is truly Yula's signature weapon, but it is an optional Where weapon that you that's them. separate. Here we go. Like, pair Eula up with like any Hydro character, she wrecks house! And also, her damage output is on the, ridic on the ridiculous scale. Superconduct. Let the show begin. Beg for mercy. Frozen. She 
is a fun character to play as, and by far one of the coolest characters. Pun fully intended, by the way. And I have so much respect and admiration for her, almost to the point where I can net it's hard for me to hit her. We have more display pillars and an and an animal got gotlin user. Let's get this musket here first, shall more we? Speed. First before Rack anything goes wrong. By the way, these things only temporarily disable, so. Big mistake. My turn. Freeze to the core. Freeze to the core is an AOE attack. It's an AOE cryo attack. My duty. And it actually gives you a very special effect where it allows it to almost instant kill. That is our fantastic. Perfect synergy with it with most Perfect synergy with many different characters that are very DPS based. And the fact that her, and the fact that her as as a physical damage dealer, she works super well in DPS. The best part of my opinion is with a possible electro claim where you like raise her and and the hunt and the hydro character I use just to stall out. You will also just run just as well alone in my opinion, which is very interesting. I find it to be the much superior version of Chong Yun in more days than one. She is a treasure to the monster in nice and a very powerful asset. There goes another. My turn. I condemn you. They sure him off, Yula. That's like it for being a bit too rushy. Let's just do a little bit of a pass up to Barbara on Yula. Sergey! I knew it. Sergey is a Fatui agent, and oh my god, he is free. Let's you destroy this dude. Me. My turn. Come forth and dispose of them. Nah, your Fatui fans can't save you now. Also, Fatui agents can be even annoyed to fight, but once you get their weakness, it's super easy to just pin them down. It's so satisfying. I don't think your Fatui fans can save you now. I'm just saying. No, they can't. Okay, now with the fear of the let's take it to the fleet back up. A lot of staff builders, only two of them in fact. You know what? Let's have some fun. Will be mine. Rack and ruin. Look at that! I love it. This must be it. They may very well have already made a copy of it, but without my uncle as their puppet, there'd be no use in them attacking the city. The Fatui wouldn't have relied only on your uncle. True, but if their plan had hinged purely on taking Mondstadt by force, as opposed to with the help of a puppet, they could have spared themselves the trouble. The Fatui are dishonest, but they wouldn't go as far as to start an open war. Their opposition wouldn't just be Mondstadt alone. Anyway, I'll inform the acting Grandmaster. She'll know how to handle things from here. Oh yeah! You suddenly appeared at just the right moment! Yeah, about that. Because you stole my targets by attacking the Fatui I'd been tracking earlier, I came to exact my vengeance. You tried to do my job for me, and I'm here to return the favor. Finally! After all this time, Paimon understands what you're saying! In reality, you sensed that something might happen to us during our investigation. You were worried about us and your uncle, so you brought a team to take a look. My purpose was vengeance. Don't twist the story. <laughs> you don't look too bright, but it turns out you have a knack for scheming. And mark my words, I'll remember that. Hey, what do you mean Paimon doesn't look too bright? 
You have seeded a deep enmity between us. Just you wait. Even if you were to be completely destroyed, I would never forget you. Bring it on! <laughs> I like your fighting spirit. I'll take this diagram back to the Knights of Favonius and take it from here. Sure! Well, see you around! That you will. And make sure not to steal my targets next time. This bender shall never return to the sea is complete. <sighs> that is straight up brilliant. Let's go outside in a bit and that's and I wanna say my thoughts on this door quest, because oh my god. This is a good one. This is a really good one. You, sir, on the other hand, are not good. Can you please just leave me alone and never ever do that ever again? Thank you very much. How are you still alive? This is not right. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the damage I'll put. Goodbye, Geoslam. Anyway. Back to what I was going to say. I think Eulus I think Eula is a very interesting character in my opinion. Cause it's basically what I said. She falls victim in Taurus being split between the Lawrence clan and the Knights of Avonius. But she chooses to abandon the Lawrence clan Lawrence clan. And fight against the and fight against the Fatui and the Lawrence clan itself. Not just that, but she chooses to side with the Knights of Avonius, saying, "You would ask a Knight of Avonius to attack the Knight of Avonius." That is really funny, and that's that's really funny, comical. But at the same time, it just shows how much it just gives me so much respect for Jula. And in fact, I think this I think this shows a lot more negative and in my opinion I don't think you is a fault here at all the fault is with the people that cannot learn to grow up and not and be open and be close my and be open-minded towards some people that might have changed from the Lawrence clan and the members of the Lawrence clan that cannot learn to well also stay open-minded and be still and feel very highly of themselves Calling you, saying you lose a traitor, saying that the only way to redeem herself by attacking her friends. That's not it. And it's not just Laura Cross of Fall here. Some of the people in Masta are at fault too. We, we talked to three people when you tried to give us that demonstration, and they were all being rude to Eula. And I think that's really not, and that's not cool at all. In any way, shape, or form. Discriminatory is the, discrimination is the one thing I'm not down for at all. And I think Eula is a Perfect. Ex I think it was a perfect example of a character that explains that rule. You should. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't show discrimination. And it makes sense now why she is a cryo character, as cryo characters seems to have seems to be very split in a way between two different sides. You in Yula's case, it's choosing the Lawrence clan or choosing the Nice Favonius, she chose the Nice Favonius. And I think that's a really nice start to her story. Knowing unless unless that's unless Yula's Lord Quest is going to be a one-off thing, I doubt we that's the last time we saw her. We're gonna see her a lot more times later on in the future. I'm pretty sure. And I am so down to see more Yula. 100 percent Anyways, that was well, that was your last floor quest. And if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. And leave a comment to see. To, leave a comment. To to just, I would just say like what I did right and what you think I should improve on. Overall, just, I hope, just thank you for watching this video. And beyond that, basic conditioner signing up before. Actually, next time, we will see more floor quests. I don't know what story quest is coming out next. This is a mystery to me this time around because I believe Eula's story quest is the last story quest of 1.5 updates. This is being played in the 1.5 update, by the way. Just saying. So I don't know what's gonna happen next. I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're going to get a story quest in 1.6, hopefully. But beyond that, I'll see you guys when the next character story quest comes out. Because I'll definitely get to record it. So. Now for now for real this time. Thank you so much for watching. And A Conditioner signing out. Have a good one guys.